Gangsta Goodies Kitchen. Let me do this real quick. <laughs> happy New Year! I know, right? Y'all like my little uh, hat, my little Happy New Year hat. So uh, I had to kind of put that on and kind of go with the flow, y'all. So as we approach our new year, uh, you know, food, you know, I think about the role that food plays in that. And of course, you know, what came first thing that came to mind is black eyed peas, right? So I know like many of you all, uh, you grew up in a household where on New Year's Day, you had black eyed peas. You may not have eaten a whole lot of them because I never was a big black eyed pea fan, but my mother always cooked, regardless of whatever else she cooked on New Year's Day, she always, always, always cooked black eyed peas, y'all. So I'm letting the oil here get a little hot. So I'm going to show you how to make our black eyed pea soup, okay? I made it a little different today, but I will give you both methods on how I make it for those who are interested in. And guess what? This video is just in time for New Year's Day, so you'll get a chance to try it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I put uh, a little bit of oil, like a cap full of vegetable oil. And the reason I use vegetable oil is because it's going to stand up to the heat. Uh, I could use olive oil, you could use coconut oil, grapeseed oil, but I use vegetable oil today. So here is a half of an onion. And the onion was kind of like a medium to large size onion. So I took half of it, chopped it up. Okay, so we're going to put it in here. Okay, sizzling. Y'all hear that? So I want y'all to drop me some of your New Year's Day food traditions. What do you cook? What do you like? Okay, so we've got the onions going. And of course, we're going to add celery. Gotta have celery because it's more like a soup. And most soups you're going to use celery in. Okay, so this was just two stalks of celery chopped up. You know, no big deal. Okay, there we go. So we've got the celery in there. Move these out of the way. So uh, now I will tell you that this recipe, the baseline for the recipe that I use uh, is G. Garvin's. I know y'all in the foodie world, y'all know who Chef G. Garvin is, right? Yes. So I believe in his original recipe, he uses sort of ham. I want to say like a tasso ham. Um, but we're not going to use ham. We're going to use unduly sausage. Okay. Now, the other thing I'm going to add that G Garvin doesn't have in his, and that is uh, a half of a red bell pepper. I just chopped it up and it's just half of it. Okay. I happen to love red bell peppers in almost everything y'all. So here we go. Okay. Oh my God. It's starting to smell good up in here. So what y'all doing for New Year's? Y'all gonna party? You're gonna have an event at home? Me, I'm probably going to be working. So, but it's all good. You know, if I'm not spending time with family and friends, making a little money is definitely what I would like to be doing. So I am going to start actually adding some of the seasoning. So this is just a mixture that I made up. It's got some red pepper flakes, uh, salt, pepper, a couple other spices, a little cayenne pepper, uh, a little garlic powder. And so I'm going to start seasoning uh, the vegetables as they cook, okay? That's how I like to do it. Some people wait till kind of at the end or in between, but I'm going to go ahead and start layering that flavor. So just a little bit at first. Because the last thing we want to do is over season anything, right? So I always season a little bit at a time. Okay. Oh my goodness. When I tell y'all it is smelling good, it is smelling good. So I am uh, going to kind of give you guys a little overview of what that looks like. Um, so you can kind of see as those peppers and onions are cooking together, kind of what that looks like. So hang on. Okay, so here we have the onions and the red bell peppers kind of cooking together. I know it's kind of smoldering over it. Okay, sorry about that, y'all. But I really wanted you to kind of see what that looks like. Now, um, okay, so we're kind of letting those sweat a little bit. And it's really sweating a little bit. But you guys kind of get the drift on what it's going to look like. 
Okay, y'all, so now what I'm going to add to this is the garlic, okay? So I chopped up like four or five cloves of garlic. I love garlic. You can probably use a few more or you can use a few less, you know, kind of depend on what your taste buds are, okay? So I'm going to drop that garlic in there. And it's just, you know, kind of rough chopped it. It don't have to be finely chopped unless that's how you want it. Okay, oh my God, y'all, that garlic now smells so good. Okay, so I'm going to put just another little spoonful of spices. Okay, kind of stir that. Okay. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is add some unduly sausage, okay? So it's just a basic unduly sausage. I took a pound and I split the pound up. So one pound I'm cooking in the black eyed pea soup. The other pound I chopped up in smaller chunks. It'll be kind of used as topping, okay? There we go. Oh my God, y'all. I really wish y'all was here to smell this. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's talk New Year's Eve, y'all. Again, what y'all doing? What are your plans? Um, I tell you, I have a, a group of sister friends, and last year, uh, with the uh, direction and guidance of one of them, suggested that instead of we instead of making New Year's Eve resolutions, let's come up with one word, one word that we could apply to our entire life for an entire year to focus in on you know, to meditate on, to pray about, to manifest, all of that. And so we each came up with our word. And I will tell you, my word is and was abundance. Okay? So I'm going to stir this and I'll kind of tell you uh, how that word has played out in my life uh, in 2019. Oh, my goodness. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to add a whole stick of butter, which is one half cup. Real butter, y'all, not that margarine, not that I can't believe it's not, none of that. Real live butter, okay? So I'm going to dump that in there, okay? Anyway, uh, okay, so the last thing we put in here was a cup of butter, right? Okay, so that is not a cup, a half a cup of butter. That's one stick of butter, okay? So now the other thing I'm going to do, I'm now going to add the black eyed peas. Now, I'm just going to keep it real, y'all. I did not make these black eyed peas from scratch myself. Normally I would, but you know what? I'm a working girl. Not only am I a working girl, I'm an entrepreneur too. So I just didn't have the time. So I used uh, two cans of Sylvia's black eyed peas okay so that means they're already done okay so um, we're gonna put those in okay nice so now we're gonna stir those in oh my yes 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 so we're going to i'm gonna turn the heat up just a little bit just a tad bit. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm going to also add a little more seasoning. And after this, this is going to be the last seasoning I use until I actually start to taste the soup, okay? To see what the flavor is like. Move all that out of our way. Okay, and it's just, I'm just using, the, this is not that much. So, again, use a little bit and build on it. Okay. Oh, my goodness, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, I am going to uh, let you see what that kind of looks like, okay? So that you can see kind of what it looks like when the peas, the sausage are all in there together. Okay. Okay. So this is what it looks like all in the pot together, okay? So you see it kind of cooking up. 
And again, the black eyed peas are already cooked, so you're not gonna have to do a whole lot with that, okay? And so you see everything there, okay? Okay, y'all, so you see what that looks like when you put in the peas, you got everything in there, okay? There are only two more things that we're going to add to this soup uh, to finish it off. So the first thing we're gonna add is about three to four cups of chicken broth, okay? So we're gonna slowly add that in. Okay. Yes, yes, and yes. Y'all hear that? Okay. So that's, I think that was exactly four cups of chicken broth, okay? So we're going to add that in and we're going to let it uh, kind of, you know, come to uh, not a boil boil, but y'all know between a simmer and a boil, y'all know what I'm talking about? Okay, between a simmer and a boil. I knew you guys knew what I was talking about. So Anyway, so my word was abundance, and I will tell you why that's simmering I'm talking. So, and I will tell you that I have definitely, it has been my word of focus. It has been the word that I have applied to every area of my life. You know, my health, my wellness, my career, uh, my business, my relationships with people, um, my finances, everything, you know, my spirituality, my growth, development, every aspect of my life, I have applied that word. And let me tell you, 2019 has been a phenomenal year, y'all, for your girl and for Gangster Goodies Kitchen and for my family. It really, really has. So thank you guys so much. You know, I'm going to raise my glass to you guys uh, for the support and the encouragement and the inspiration that you so easily uh, share and give to me and uh, my daughters as we continue to build the Gangster Goodies brand. So, of course, I got a glass of Uncle Nearest. Um, Y'all heard that story. If you didn't, go and check out the video. It's our holiday cocktail uh, video, and we're talking about Uncle Nearest, uh, his story, and we showed you how to make four of our favorite uh cocktails, holiday cocktails uh, with Uncle Nearest products. So cheers to y'all and cheers to Uncle Nearest. Mm, mm, mm. Yummy, yum. Ooh. Okay. So this is kind of doing its thing. Once it comes to that place between a simmer and a boil, y'all know that place? Okay. I'm going to add a half a cup of heavy cream, okay? Then I'm, once I add that half a cup of heavy cream, I'm gonna turn the fire down pretty low. I'm gonna put a lid on it and kind of let it do its thing for about 15, 20 minutes, okay? So when I come back, y'all, I am gonna have a bowl of our black eyed pea soup in front of me and I'm gonna tell you how fire it is. So I'll be right back, stay tuned. Hey y'all, I am back and I get a chance to taste our black eyed pea soup and tell y'all exactly how fire it is. So I told you we had one more ingredient to add and that was the heavy cream. After I added the heavy cream, I put the lid on and let it simmer on really low for about 15 minutes, okay? And then I garnished it with whole okra and cilantro and crumbles of unduly sausage. Y'all, I'm gonna tell you, take a look at it. It's fire. So you guys have got to try this recipe. So I'm gonna taste it. My goodness. Get You get chunks of sausage in there. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my God. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Y'all. You guys are gonna have to try this recipe. It is absolutely fabulous. I put whole okra in here. I'll, you know, if you want the recipe, let me know. I'll get it to you. And because I want you guys to try it and share it with your family on New Year's Day. So anyway, uh, I won't take any more of your time. Try the recipe. Happy New Year. Thank you to all of you guys who watch every week, every day, whenever you tune in, when you share, when you comment. 
All of that is support and inspiration, and I appreciate you, my daughters and I, and my entire family. We appreciate you. Uh, peace and blessings to all of you, and 